<clears throat> this is the box that we get it from this is the lead light for the boot as you can see it's not it's not bright at all actually for the boot let's let's see it's inside <clears throat> so you've got some instruction there that's the manual i think but this one is really simple actually you just you know you just plug it in replace that so with this one you just literally just do that or you can use a, a flat screw or a clip remover tool and then you just do this okay now it's dark basically that's just a clip and then you just replace it with this <clears throat> and then until it makes a clicking noise and you should be set and you put it back in there that was easy <laughs> Oh, the car. Oh, just the screws from the fender liner. So we can have access behind the side marker. Perfect way to do it at night time. <laughs> fit but this is the OEM one so you just twist it so I twist it like that and this one should come off we're gonna need this part but we'll have to remove the bulb so you just pull it okay. and we'll take the sequential lead side mark we're gonna put it like so. Just push it in. actually like a bigger tab like this one so it points downwards points downwards and it 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 will just slip in inside like that and then you twist it so if you're holding it like this twist it this way and it just pops in so this part here is for the sequential um, the lights came with this wire but you can tap onto the indicator wire we'll just plug this in here and now let's connect it then we'll have to feed this through this hole right in here where the wire is see we feed this up to 
here. If you can see that. Right. We'll attempt to do that now. Okay. I finally got it through. It's really fidgety. So what I did was basically I uh, I dropped this end from the hood. So I dropped this end from the hood through this hole through this hole and I managed to get it there it was harder for me to feed this other end up from the hole to the hood so we connect it up all this there I did see um, Jonathan from Tort Toolbox he put uh, uh, electrical tape around this hole here to prevent the wire from getting scratched or damaged which is a good idea you see that clip there oh, if you can, that black clip it's meant to hook onto that hole but it's not clipping properly now it's the same with the installation I've seen on YouTube but what they did is they did this so basically bend it inwards oh, I can't make it that way so finally got it installed as you can see It was a uh, oh man! It was such a hard work to put the big clip on. Good thing uh, my dad helped me out with the um, with that clip. Turns out that we don't really need to bend that hole. All you gotta do is just uh, make sure you push in that clip really well. We use some flat screw big one um, and a smaller one to push those clip in that was really hard work I haven't got the sequential indicators yet I'm gonna tap that in tomorrow it's, uh, it's getting late now so to be continued okay so from yesterday or last night you see this clip here that's the clip that we struggled to put on last night I think there's just a specific technique and how you do it but with us we ended up using um, you just gotta get those these tools like a flat screw in there all right so here's what we're gonna do for the blinkers so this here is the DRL and the main is down here I'll just try to I got it out this is what it looks like I'll remove the DRL connection as well to make it easier for the install here's the tab here's the tab there you go we'll put it through there out you see now we'll put the oh. hazard so you see there's none it's none there none there because it's disconnected but if you get the end bit of this peel it off a little bit you can fish in through these little holes here see that and so what I found you see this uh, you see that green that green cord so we'll poke we'll poke it through there 
so it should be this one here and let's see if it works there you go see it's working so we'll take it out go on back in it works so that green wire is where we're gonna tap it on on the left side of the car or well, if you're facing the car yeah. hey coast to coast now these people know my name hit new lows the higher you go the more empty space feel the holes okay so i've got this this is the tool that we that will uh, connect this wire with the green wire that we just saw and I've got a blade to um, rip a bit of uh, that coating covering and we can also use this blade so where the green wire is Sure, where it's better to actually take it out. I think maybe on this side. This, uh, it's twisted to this side. So you really carefully, carefully remove this cover. space give us more space to have access to that wire see that green wire is the one we want I think that should be enough out like that see should be a lot of space now with this wire the green one we'll put this one through I think uh, maybe we'll, we'll give it a bit of appealing through there easy or maybe not I don't know you see actually I should have done it on the side in there and with this one just give it a little bit of slack like maybe how much so it's not tugging too tight from the main maybe over here we'll put some peel on that thing I found with this one is that the wire is really deep in there. So put this in. Just use this. Make sure it's in place. The green. It, the green and the red is actually one where it should be push this in Can 
also push it in like this. Then, so we will test it again. Hazards. See? Now it's working. It means it's it's stopped in there. And it's in there good. It's working. Alright, so I'm I wrapped it up with the uh, electrical tape and with the other one I've also finished it <clears throat> I've already tucked it in there so it's all secured so on this side it's on the blue the blue wire and this one on this side is the red wire oh no sorry the green wire the green wire for this one I'm not sure if it's the same with the other cars but we'll see now so just connect this back in now and you can make this neat and tidy if you if you really want just put these wires back in you can tape this here on that just not on this one because it will heat up tape it there maybe so I taped it on there made it neat and the clips are also good it's clicked on secured and waterproof now let's test both sides so with the hazard on see it's working that looks nice Other side, same thing. It looks nice. Okay, so with the mirrors, so we're gonna change these ones. What we've got here, so these ones are my old ones, and we just done that. These ones are for the side mirrors. You see also smoked it's good for 10th gen civics so for this one don't be afraid to just push it like that so we need access behind this mirror and there's also a screw under here it's a bit dark so I'm gonna use this tool to take out the uh, mirror so this is acuity from acuity but it doesn't have to be acuity but i got this from amazon <clears throat> if you want to get the same one but it doesn't really matter got it up that's what it should look like <clears throat> and this bit here we're gonna need to get this clip on here and there push it out and unscrew it from the bottom and here I think we'll have a look that one up there is good I think is there one more here? I don't know if there's one more there okay so I got it out this is what it looks like let me just get some light there so here you have to push these these two up on the top bit and this bottom one the sort of hard one you have to push it down you can't really see it it goes through this hole here and then you see this bit here so I, I think I put a little bit of force on it and it connects to this part this part here and you just slide it you're meant to slide it that way so when you remove it you slide it that way and it should come out the screws that we need to access is well, are this one and there's one there at the bottom there's also one down there so first I had to take out the screw from over here to attach it to detach it 
and then this one is just wiggling now so we can practically remove it all right so i took this one out that's uh how it should look like there's a clip there that attaches over here that you can access from the inside over there and there's also some clips here that you can just pick out and see there's that clip there there and there and it should look like oh, and here as well it should look like that and now you can basically just remove this one but make sure you disconnect that wire first and then we'll change the light right, it turns out there's only two screws that we need one there and one there and this is the replacement then this one's sequential as well and we'll have to disconnect that remove the screws and replace it with the new one okay so this one is connected now this is the new one I just plugged it in there and we'll test it in a second okay so I just left it hanging like that and uh, but I plugged in the light the wire and we'll turn on the hazard see works and there you go you see it's another sequential and now that's working uh we'll uh put back everything together okay so if you guys are wondering what it looks like with the side mirror with the camera this is basically the connection for the camera and similarly that's for the lights so you can disconnect this that and then at the same time we gotta remove this thing again like we did before we'll get back to that when everything's installed okay so at the moment this is what it looks like now see sequential sequential I gave it a little spray because it rained and it uh, got really dirty but that's looking nice, hey. So I went and iced out my chain, ay. Lifestyles of the rich and famous, yeah. Up so high, living dangerous, yeah. Everybody wanna be rich and famous, uh. Seem like the love gone when you nameless. Popping pills, copping fills, chasing thrills. Chase the fang, go insane, lost my zeal. Hundred grand on my neck, hundred miles on my dash, couple limbs on my check.